I got destroyed by a 10 year old named Anne Flank, so naturally I murdered my controller, and now I can't play the game. But luckily I found the solution, a perfect, elegant fix. We removed the controller entirely. Now I know what you're thinking, what in the fuck are you on about? Guys, I'm talking about the future here. Okay, more like the present. I'm talking about playing games with your body. And no, we're not going to be playing any Guna games. So I picked a little cult classic called Mortal Kombat, known for its nuanced violence and restraint. But before we dive in, let me introduce you to Pose Estimation. This absolute unit on screen is me, and you can perceive my movement. If I throw hands, your brain's like, holy shit, that's Prime Tyson. Now we can teach a model to also think the same. I say we, but I really just mean this random bunch of guys, because I downloaded this model straight from the internet. 75.8% accuracy, good enough. Now the output may not look like much, that's because it isn't, but each point references a single joint, such as an elbow, a knee, or a wrist, and contains all the information needed for the task at hand. If you're old enough to have had an Xbox Connect and spent your childhood plugging imaginary holes, essentially something very similar is happening under the hood. The most important consideration here is speed. Some inaccuracy is easy to deal with, but with most fighting games running at 60 FPS, we really need to be processing at least 60 images per second to even start to compete. Each point describes a location in space. On its own, that doesn't mean much, but when we look at it from another perspective, we see the points relative to each other. I'll draw some lines so you can see what's happening. But how exactly does the program know what action I'm doing? Well, it involves a little bit of maths. Let's break it down. Take a punch. We want to consider the points along the arm, so shoulder, elbow and wrist. We're looking for a situation where the Y values are relatively similar and the X values are increasing. Basically, my arm is straight out. Great, we're a solid 10% there. Now the concept will stay the same, but the calculations for complex poses require more parameters. For a kick, we need to check that the knee joint is roughly 45 degrees from the hip and the ankle is 45 degrees from the knee. For a block, we check if two hands are in front of the face. So the wrist joints are close to the face and the elbows close to the body. Then we'll also add a grab or a throw, which is two hands straight out, a bit like a double punch. For ducking and jumping, we can use the same system. So let's introduce some baselines for the head and hip, and if I move significantly above these lines, we'll assume I'm jumping, and you can probably guess, below means I'm ducking. Now here's the annoying bit, we have to do all this twice, for when I'm facing the opposite direction, because flipping is a thing. Last but not least, we also need to determine which arm or leg is doing the punching or kicking, because Mortal Kombat has both a front and back strike. But we've got it working, so now let's load into the practice range. And instantly I realise this is fucking pointless. Because if our enemy moves away, we're just standing there like a fucking lemon, just politely waiting to die. So I need a movement system. I don't have 10k to drop in an omnidirectional treadmill, so I'll need a creative solution. For this, I came up with weight shifting. If I lean forward, I move forward. If I lean back, I backpedal. It's janky, it's inconsistent, and it's honestly perfect. Alright, that's enough yapping from me. Let's test it on the bot. Somehow, when practicing, I even managed to do a special move without even implementing it. Alright, I just ended up slapping this dickhead with a few kicks and punches. He didn't stand a fucking chance. Time to queue up. Fight.
wins. Fight! Honestly, I wouldn't recommend doing all of this because as demonstrated, it basically makes the game unplayable.